Hey guys, I'm James Baldwin, world's fastest gamer 2019 and professional GT3 driver and today I'm going to help you to get faster in F1 2020. There are two things that will make you faster for certain, effort and playtime. But to really speed things up, there are some additional tips and tricks that I can provide you with. So stay tuned. Before we dive into the topics of how to handle your car and how to take corners, I have a bit of general advice for you. Some of you may use the cockpit camera in the game, which you can do if you're looking to achieve the max amount of immersion. However, I recommend going for the TV perspective instead. Because of the position of the camera, the game does not feel as fast to you and thus gives you more time to think and react. Combine this with the one thing you've most certainly heard everyone say already, turn off the assists. But don't worry, you don't have to turn them all off at once, you can do it gradually. In the long term though, there won't be a way around it, even though some like the racing line for example can provide quite a benefit at first. Ok, enough of the basics, let's dive into some deeper topics. The two most important things to learn in the F1 series are how your car behaves, as well as the intricacies of each track. We'll start off by getting to know the car a little better. One thing you should never forget. In comparison to other cars, Formula 1 cars are all about downforce. The faster they go, the more downforce they generate. This is an advantage for you because it basically means there's more grip for you to work with. You will especially feel it in the corners, it's always the same basic approach regardless of the type of corner. Brake as late as possible but with 100% pressure. And do it while you're still going fast, thanks to the huge amount of grip, the tyres won't lock up. As you get slower, you gradually release the brake to prevent a possible lockup because of the reduced speed of the car. Combine this with downshifting and do it as fast as possible, as you can't damage your engine and the braking it offers is incredibly strong. So, the faster you shift down, the stronger the engine braking kicks in and helps you out. Another characteristic of your car you must be aware of is understeer, when the front end washes wide around a corner. Don't wait for your car to turn, instead use the throttle and the rear of the car to turn it as fast as possible. Be mindful though that wheel spin is a possibility, but you can short shift to compensate for that. Now let's put this knowledge into action in the hairpin on the Shanghai International Circuit. If you want to know how you should prepare for a racetrack in general, check out my other tutorials on Overtake's YouTube channel. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and sub to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything. But let's get on with it, so first break as late as possible and combine it with downshifting till you're in first gear. Afterwards you can start to use the throttle again to get around the corner. Try to reach third gear before the end of the corner so you have a quick and seamless exit. On other corners you don't even have to go as low as first gear, often it's enough to shift down to second or even third gear. Is this the only way to get through a corner fast? No it's not but for me it's the most comfortable way of doing it. And this is super important because you're going so fast that you have to limit the number of things you concentrate on. So choosing a method you feel comfortable with helps you to hit the perfect braking point. As I already mentioned, the track is the other thing you have to know inside out. Every circuit's unique and brings its own challenges with it. Even if two corners look alike, they're not. So you have to know the specifics to use the full width of the track and use the curbs to their maximum potential. A good track to get started and learn in detail is Silverstone. It may very well be one of the most easy tracks to learn, but it still has a lot to offer, slow as well as fast corners. The kerbs are easy to fully utilise to suit your driving style, and Silverstone is a very flat track, which means you don't have to think about how to work with different gradients. Obviously, there are always ways to squeeze out another tenth of a second by taking a corner a specific way or modifying the setup. But to even get to this point you have to have the basics nailed. So there's no way around learning how your car behaves and what the circuit has to offer. When your fundamentals are on point you automatically perform better in every situation. Also if you like this content check out our video about setting a world record lap in F1 2020 by me so you can see how to improve even more quickly. But for more esports racing content in general visit overtake.gg or our YouTube channel and other social media channels. 